Greetings folks, Jason from Mishibashi Music Shibuya in Tokyo here. Today it is a Saturday afternoon, the 15th of July 2017. Meet Chris. Hey, Say hi everybody. Chris. How's it going? So as you can see here, I'm filming on my GoPro Hero 5 for me and my beautiful Canon 5D Mark IV for Chris because he's buying this guitar here and we've come across something with this that's absolutely blown us both away and we're so excited we're actually making a video and he's showing off because he's watched my videos and he's excited to be in one. Oh yeah baby Jason <laughs> makes the best videos ever it's an honor and a privilege to be here thanks dude I appreciate that yeah man so tell people about you first quickly so I'm Chris Kopp I play for the Navy I'm a Navy musician I play in Navy band Southwest I actually was stationed in Tokyo about five years ago with uh, the Seventh Fleet Band out here. And then I went to Chicago, I was with the uh, Navy band Great Lakes. And now my wife and I are stationed in San Diego. So I get to play music for the amazing Navy band. I get to play music um, for our country. It's my honor to serve, I'm an active duty service member. And uh, my job, my active duty job is to play music. That's pretty cool. It's getting, all right. Getting paid to do something you love. I mean, I'm yeah, doing it right now, but right? anyway. Can't beat it, man. Here's where we're at. This is a Tesco guitar. Now this is from uh, two, uh, 1990s for mm -hmm. this guitar. And lift up your arm, there we go. So this guitar has a crazy, crazy, crazy switching system. And what we've done is we've actually gone into the stereo mode on this guitar and we're going out of the two individual outputs via Chris's sexy hairy legs into twin amplifier setups here and what it does is something quite truly amazing I'm just going to switch to manual focus for a second here so we go to the high watt now what we've done is we're going out of both of our pin microphones into left and right stereo on here on a uh, wave file channel and then these two mics I got a 57 and unfortunately I didn't have a second 57 so a 58 on the other one here, which is going to a second stereo wave file. And what you're gonna hear coming out of the audio is, I don't believe I'm gonna to have to adjust the sound at all, but we completely hard pan left and right. So that way you'll be able to hear this coming through in a very unique fashion. Because what this guitar does is, if Chris, if you would kindly just play something in the bass register for a moment. And then the treble strings. So what you're hearing there is you're hearing the sound of the treble stuff coming out of the Fender Deluxe here and you're hearing the bass stuff coming out of the High Watt Custom 50 here. Um, we've also included an octave pedal here because we discovered while we were messing around that it adds in some really cool stuff. This is an old Japanese Boss OC2 uh, made here in Japan. And this is what it sounds like. We put on the octave pedal and play us some jazz, Chris. That is very cool. Can you do something, if I actually bring up a second octave on the lows here, can you do something like, you remember before you were playing mostly on the D string with some treble notes? Yeah. Thank you. 
Can you also show them what the deal is with the pickup switching? Because you figured a bit of that out already, right? Yeah, this guitar is a really interesting pickup switching pattern. So it has, instead of the regular um, three position or five position selector that you would see on most guitars, it has these five switches up here, and then additionally the stereo one here that we're using now. So this switch controls this pickup here, the uh, neck pickup. This one controls the middle pickup. And number three here controls the treble pickup. And then these two switches are the phase inverters. So you basically select which pickup you want. So here would be the middle pickup here. And we'll turn this off. To select another pickup, you would simply switch this switch down. This one goes off automatically and it switches to the to the neck pickup now. And likewise. And you can also switch them together. And uh, if you put the say the bridge in the middle together, or the bridge or the neck in the middle. That was the middle and the treble pickup. This would be middle and treble pickup. Yep. yep. And then we can use this um, phase selector to select the uh, neck pickup and the bridge pickup together. And we use this phase selector. If you don't have that selected, uh, you actually don't get any sound because of the phase cancellation, you won't get any sound out of that. So you need to select all of those together, which is interesting. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that when I'm playing live, but <laughs> it sounds really good now, so. I'm gonna chuck the old thing back on. Now here's another thing we discovered that's quite interesting. If you change the sound of the amplifier, so for example, if I turn up the reverb on the clean channel mm. here, and we try to push the preamp on here, drop the master, uh. push the preamp, have a play of that. Cool. So there you go, folks. That is the Tesco Spectrum 5 electric guitar. This is yeah. one from the 90s. It's a reissue from what was originally made back in the 60s. The reissues are actually kind of cool because they're a bit more stable in the neck yeah. joint and things like that. Sound good. Um, now, Chris is buying this particular guitar, but we just thought Can't while we found it. this, and we found <laughs> this incredible discovery, which we both feel like archaeologists we were yeah, talking about man. before. <laughs> How so cool. good. This thing is amazing. I came in here and we were looking. I really wanted to find a vintage Japanese guitar because they're really cool. I have some vintage Fenders and some vintage Gibsons. I really enjoy them a lot. And I wanted something um, just Japanese, just original, you know. Um, it's hard to find the original ones and they weren't made that great. The quality of the ones from the 60s and 70s wasn't really up to par with what this one is. So this is a 1990 reissue of a 1960s version guitar and it's just much more stable. Pickups are more solid, the sound is better, the neck, the intonation, everything is just really strong on it. So it's an amazing find, it's a fantastic guitar. And Jason was able to find this for me, he had to dig around a little bit, sort of search all over Tokyo yeah, to find we got, this one. Yeah, we got this one transferred from Fukuoka, which is like 1,100 yeah. kilometers away. <laughs> yeah, we had to find this one. I think it's like 600 miles or something? Yeah, some 600. Yeah, so it's it's south, south Island of Japan we found yeah, it on. Yeah, it was quite a distance, so he, he did a lot of digging to find this one for me and I couldn't I absolutely could not be happier yeah. on that note I have a gift for you Jason and I have something that I want to give you a gift yeah I have a gift oh, for this you. I didn't know about yeah I know it's a total surprise Maki 
I need my backpack. This I knew I nothing about. I got something about. for you. I know. I know. I, I have a little something. catching me off guard. He makes me feel pressure now. I know, man. I know. So, I, uh, I got a sponsorship recently from this company, Red Plate Amps. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of them. Never. This is uh, Red Plate Amps. And they're out of Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, And cool. uh, they're a company that started in 2006. And they sort of have been searching after the holy grail. So they have this amazing amp called the Magica. It's a two-channel amp. And the clean side is like a Fender clean. Super pristine. It's a 50-watt amp. So tons of headroom. Super clean. Amazing. And then you got your second channel, which is just total Marshall dirt. It's amazing. It has gain stacking. Just a phenomenal uh, amp. And I didn't know if you'd heard of them before. Never. I love them. I'm super in love with them. So my, my honest question is, what's your involvement in the company? You're very passionate about this. And you've got a t-shirt with a barcode still on it. So. Yeah, they, uh, they sent me this stuff. Um, so I started doing a little bit of demo work for them making some videos for them and and um i'm absolutely in love with their sound they have some amazing stuff if you haven't checked them out check them out online red plate amps and i wanted to give this to Thank jason because he's helped me out so much and uh i just wanted to i'll never say no to a black t-shirt thanks yeah mate. for sure man you're one of the well Probably the best uh, videographer that I've ever met in person, for that, sure. That's man. very nice of you. And Thank a fantastic you. guitar player. So I thought you'd really appreciate uh, a little bit of uh, Thanks, piece dude. of music from Phoenix, Arizona. Their handmade boutique stuff. So I thought maybe you didn't have it here. So it'd be something you know to unique, check out. You know, yeah. Well, it's man. funny because I get support from Audio Technica. I get support from GoPro. Nice. I get support from Zoom. Uh, Canon have actually now decided they're going to help me out when I go over to the states to do nice, my videos man. again. And they yeah. should because your videos are amazing. Man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, dude. All right. Well, we're going to sign off. Thank you very much for watching. Um, safe travels, Chris. It's been man, a pleasure. Appreciate that, Jason. Awesome to meet you, man. And we'll be back to Ishibashi Music just to see Jason. So we can hang out, play a little bit more, do some jamming, <laughs> and find some more amazing guitars like this. Take care, folks. Rock on.